Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a challenging level two, three back bending and twisting class. We get into some inversions, we get into some arm balances, and obviously a bunch of back bends and twists. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you have comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. We are gonna get started straight away today in a high plank pose. So if you need to do any warming up, any pranayama or anything for your wrist, please do that. And then I will meet you in a high plank pose. Step yourself back into a high plank pose. Wrists underneath the shoulders, energy out through the feet, engage through the legs. Nice neutral spine, so you're not really rounding out through the spine, but you're not letting the lower back arch your energy from the tail to the crown of the head. Gentle tenting through the fingertips, press the floor away, and think of drawing the heels of the hands and the toes together to help engage your abs and help engage your lats, your big side body muscles. You're going to take five more deep breaths here. Feel the rib cage expand wide on your inhale. Feel the abs, pelvic floor, lower belly contract on your exhale. There he is. Dog making his grand re-entrance into the home. You're going to take one more breath here and then send it back downward facing dog. Pedal out through the feet. Mild interruption, making sure my dog can get water. From your downward facing dog, you're going to shift back into your plank pose. You're going to try and stay on one hand as long as you can through this. You can take your feet a little bit wider. You're going to take an inhale in your plank. As you exhale, that right hand is going to float. Take it back, tap the left toes. Inhale, keep that right hand floating, come back to plank. Exhale, left hand floats, take it back to right toes. Inhale, come back, keep that left hand floating as long as you can, come back to plank. You're going to take six more on each side. The goal is to stay as stable and even through the hips, pelvis, spine, shoulders as you can while keeping that lifting hand off the floor for as much of the movement as you can. Two more each side. Come back into your plank pose. Take an inhale, feet are hips distance apart. As you exhale, keep both hands evenly grounded. Just swivel both heels towards the left. Come to the edges of the feet. Inhale through center. As you exhale, swivel the heels to the left, edges of the feet. Inhale through center. Hands stay even. Exhale, swivel heels to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, swivel heels to the left. Inhale through center. Take three more to each side. Inhale into your plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward back into your plank pose. As you exhale, drop the knees if you need to. Lower all the way down onto the belly. Untuck the toes, shoulders away from the floor. Inhale, press the pubic bone down, engage the legs. Baby cobra, peel the chest up. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, elbows point back. Think of drawing the heels towards the heels of the hands towards the hips. Exhale, come down. Three more like this. Draw the lower belly away from the floor. You're 
you're going to hold this last one up. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, keep the feet down. You're just going to shoot the hands back. And then as you inhale, like you are going to come back into your cobra, palms face the floor. Exhale, shoot them out in front. Inhale, keep the elbows as close to the body as you can. Bring them back under the shoulders. And then as you exhale, flip the palms, shoot them to the back of the room. So I want you to try and keep your shoulders kind of close to your body and your hands just hovering off the ground. We're getting some real subtle mobility here through the shoulders, through the wrists. And then obviously we're working hard to keep our chest lifted. You're gonna take one more in each direction. Come out into your Superman, inhale, hold. As you exhale, see if you can lift the legs up. Hold here, four more breaths. Internally rotate the legs, inner thighs up towards the sky. And then lower it down, come up onto the fingertips, elbows towards the sky. Inhale, wide-armed cobra. As you exhale, drop the right shoulder, look towards the left. Inhale, come up through center. Exhale, drop left shoulder, look towards the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, look left. Inhale through center. Exhale, look right. Inhale through center, one more each side. Legs are still engaged. Inhale through center. Exhale, peel down. Tuck under the toes, elbows hug the rib cage. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press up, plank pose. From your plank pose, you're going to walk the right foot in so the knee hovers above the floor under the hip. Left foot in, we're in a bear pose. Inhale, right leg back to plank. Exhale, left leg back. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, right leg forward. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, right leg back. We're going to do four more with each leg leading. You're trying to keep the rest of your body as still and stable as you can, like you're a table that's grown moving legs. Halfway. Relax the neck, relax the jaw. One more each side leading. Walk yourself into a bear pose. Drop the knees, untuck the toes. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale into your cat. One more here. Come to a neutral spine. Keep that neutral spine. Bend the right knee, heel to the glute. Take an inhale. Don't drop into the left hip. As you exhale, sole of the right foot comes towards the sky from the hip, not from the back. Inhale, tap the knee. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Seven more. Don't let that left hip swing out. Don't let the right knee turn out. And try not to dump into the lower back. There's a lot going on here. From here, you're going to keep the knee bent. As you inhale, you're going to straighten the leg behind you. Exhale to curl. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to curl. Eight more. Hamstrings. Set the left, uh, sorry, set the right knee down, bend the left knee, take an inhale, exhale, donkey kick, second side, inhale, tap down, exhale, kick, inhale, tap down, eight more.
Hold it up there, straighten the leg as you inhale, hamstring curl to exhale. Inhale to straighten, exhale to curl. Eight more. Set it down into your tabletop. Keep the hips above the knees. Walk your hands forward, puppy pose. Option to take a pulsation here. As you exhale, you'll think of curling the spine, drawing the knees and the hands together. And then as you inhale, release the chest or the forehead towards the floor. Exhale, there can be a subtle curling in. Inhale, release to the floor. One more breath here. From here, you're gonna plant down into the forearms. You're gonna shift forward, forearm plank. Take a couple of breaths to establish your alignment here. Same as a plank, except now the shoulders are stacked over the forearms, uh, sorry, over the elbows. Forearms are parallel as long as that's okay in your shoulders. You're gonna take an inhale. Full exhale. On your next inhale, forearm stay down. You're going to tap your right hip towards the floor. Exhale back through center. Inhale, left hip will tap towards the floor. Exhale through center. Inhale, right hip. Exhale, center. Even weight in the forearms. Inhale, left hip. Exhale, center. Three more each side. Keep your forearm plank, walk your feet in, dolphin pose. Head is off the floor, bend the knees as much as you need to. Press the floor away, try and keep the elbows underneath the shoulders. So it's available in your body. You're going to press the floor away, lift both elbows at the same time. We meet in a downward facing dog. Inhale, shift yourself forward. You can lower the knees if you need to. As you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat. You're going to step up to the top. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Right hand to the center of the mat, bend the right knee. As you inhale, open the left arm to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, switch it out. Left knee bends, left hand down. Inhale, open the right arm. Exhale, forward fold. You're gonna take two more on each side. I don't know if my dog is in the frame of the camera, but he he just lies on his back like he's dead. <laughs> kind of sticks his tongue out. It's, it's pretty funny. The ultimate shavasana. Forward fold through center. Inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Generous bend in the knees. Drop the tail. Roll yourself all the way up the spine. Inhale, raise the arms up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, step, walk or float back, plank to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, come back to your Chaturanga, it's just an option. Inhale through plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Your vinyasa. Option to take that second chaturanga. Step, walk or float to the top. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog cobra. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Three more rounds. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, up dog cobra. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Drop the hips. Inhale, chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes. Knees in line with the second and third toes. If reaching your arms up overhead makes you bunch your shoulders by your ears, drop your hands in line with your shoulders, neutralize through the spine. Keep sinking low in your chair. Take the hands to interlace behind the back. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, see if you can press the palms towards each other and move the fists away from the lower back. Keep your chair. If this doesn't work for you. You bend the elbows as much as you need to. Keep the hands on the sacrum. On your next inhale, release the hands, keep the chair, sink lower. As you exhale, knees stay even as you take that right hand back behind you and twist. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, knees stay even, take the left hand back. Inhale, through center. Four more each side. Keep sinking into those legs. If you can, as you inhale and exhale, you're adding little mini squats up and down. One more each side. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Your vinyasa. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, come up, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale straight away, we're going to turn this into a twist. Take the right arm back, the left arm forward. So when you twist, don't let the whole right leg come back with you. Right hip is staying center neutral. You're rotating the right rib cage back and then expanding from your wingspan. Right hand's gonna come back, find the left hamstring. And then on your next inhale, you're going to sweep that left arm up and over. See if you can use the leverage of that right hand to open the right shoulder. So don't crank yourself back and overextend in through your spine. More think of it as using leverage. To just give a bit of a widening through the collarbones. Inhale, you're going to come back through center. And then as you exhale, option for a single leg vinyasa.
step the left leg forward, inhale, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, open up into that twist. Left hand finds the back of the right leg. Take it into the reverse. Sink lower into that left knee. Make sure it's not collapsing to the midline. Come back through center. Inhale, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Option for that left leg to float. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, we'll take it to the breath. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale, sweep it, chair. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fingers interlace behind. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, keep the interlace as you forward fold. Release as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, walk or float, vinyasa. Always feel free to skip them. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel, float, cartwheel flow through thin. Yeah. Left leg sets. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel flow through. Look to the top. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, right hand back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left hand back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, open the collarbones. Exhale, keep the interlace, fold forward. Release the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, cut will flow through. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We've got two more rounds here. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist, right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist, left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, Inhale open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last round, inhale, chair. Exhale, right arm. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left arm. Inhale, chair. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, open. 
exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. As my neighbor floods the engine of their quad bike. Again, step the right leg forward. Inhale, raise your arms. Exhale, twist. Inhale, reverse. It's not going to start, buddy. Exhale, cartwheel flow through. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent, exhale, twist, inhale, reverse, exhale, woo, that will flow through. <clears throat> From your downward facing dog, inhale, sweep the right leg up. As you exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Draw shoulders in line with each other. Strongly engage the right glute. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to cross body tap, right elbow, le uh, right knee, left elbow. Inhale, open the right hip. Exhale, cross, right knee, left elbow. Mixing up my body parts. You're going to take three more here. On this one, you're going to shoot that right leg through inside edge of the left foot. Open up, fall and star. Inhale, sweep that left arm up. Exhale here. On your next inhale, you're going to bend the left knee, send the hips back towards the left heel. Exhale, straighten the leg, reach forward, side plank variation. Inhale, send the hips back. Exhale, fall and star. You're going to do three more or a fall and triangle, whichever you prefer to call it. Plant the left hand, single leg chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Back to your chaturanga, lift the right leg. Single leg plank as you inhale. And then exhale, downward dog. Left leg lifts as you inhale. Exhale, keep the shoulders square. Open up the hip, engage the glute. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, cross, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it up. Four more here. Really engage that left glute and hamstring when you come up into this three-legged dog variation. It's not a lazy pose. We're not chilling out here. You wouldn't be doing my classes if you wanted to chill out. You're going to send that left leg through, fall and triangle. Inhale, sweep that right arm open. Exhale here. As you inhale, bend the right knee, send the hips to the heel. Exhale, fall and triangle. Inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, fall and triangle. Well, it's hard trying to figure out where to sleep, isn't it, buddy? You need to do two more. Circle that right hand down. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Come back to your chaturanga, lift the left leg. Inhale, back to your single leg plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. As you exhale, edge of the right elbow is coming to the outside edge of the left knee. Or you can do it the other way around. It doesn't matter. We're going to swap pretty much straight away. Look down. Make sure your knees are even. If you're looking down and your head is seeing like way over to the side of your toe, see if you can bring your whole torso back towards midline. Spiral your upper rib cage, your left rib cage towards the sky. One more breath here. As you inhale, keep your chair, come back through center. Exhale, hands to the heart. 
Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, second side, set up your alignment. One more breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa to downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, open the hip. Option to stay, otherwise option to flip your dog. Coming into wild thing. Press down through the left hand, strong reach through the right arm. Keep pressing the floor away with the legs. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, plant the right hand. You're going to swing that right leg all the way through, floating fallen triangle. Inhale here. Exhale. Keep the leg floating if you can. Inhale. Bend the left knee, hips to heel. Exhale, floating fall and triangle. Four more just like that. Keep the right leg floating. We're coming back to a three-legged dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, left elbow hoops to the outside edge of the right knee. Make sure that right knee hasn't collapsed to the midline. The right hip hasn't swung out. Got a strong engagement through that left leg. <laughs> You've got four more breaths here. My, we don't have any cabinetry in this house that we're renting. It's like half finished but my dog likes to sleep underneath the kitchen counter where the cabinets would be. Um, but there's some stuff kind of blocking his main entry point and he got a bit confused. Oh, I'm way too obsessed with my dog. You're going to take one more breath here. From here, you're going to split the arms, left arm down, right arm up, take an inhale. As you exhale, come up to that twisting crescent. Inhale, reverse. And then as you exhale, you're going to cartwheel flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, open the hip. Option to stay, otherwise flipping to wild thing. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, left hand comes down. Left leg will swing through as you inhale, floating fall and triangle. Exhale to hold. Inhale, bend right knee, hips to heel. Exhale, floating fall and triangle. Four more. You can always just take that first variation that we did. Keep that left leg floating. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, right elbow hooks, outside edge of left knee. You're slowly going to release the right hand down, left arm up, take an inhale. As you exhale, twisted crescent. On your next inhale, reverse the twist. And then as you exhale, cut will flow through, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, you're going to shift forward into a um, tabletop position. Walk the hands forward, coming in to your puppy pose. Take one inhale here, one exhale. 
you could stay here. Otherwise, we're making our way to Dolphin with the option of Pincher. So you can hang out here in Dolphin. Let me see how I go picking off with this foot. You could stay in Dolphin or you could come into Pincher. We're not adding anything fancy to our Pincher yet. But don't worry, we're going to come back here a bit. So. <laughs> If this one doesn't work for you, then maybe another one will. Engage through the glutes, which I'm not doing very well. Lengthen the lower back away from the rib cage. Whew. I have not been doing many kicking inversions since I broke my foot, so I'm, I'm not doing great. <laughs> when you're done with your inversion, you're going to come back to your forearm plank. The lesson here would be is that learn to kick off both feet. I'm very left dominant and it's, uh, it's now not serving me. You're gonna turn the right forearm into the left elbow. Come to the outside edge of the right foot. Left hand comes behind the head. Take an inhale here, here in your side plank. As you exhale, you're gonna bring that left elbow, tap it to the inside of the right forearm. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, twist it down. Inhale, open it up. We're going to take three more here. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Take it straight to the other side. Inhale, right elbow to the sky. Exhale, right el elbow taps inside of left. Inhale, open it up. Four more. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, forearm plank. Slowly lower the hips down. Sphinx pose. Press the pubic bone down, lengthen the lower back away from the back of the rib cage. Shoulders out of the ears. Think of pulling the elbows back to the hips. So Sphinx is a really active pose. Once again, we're not chilling here. And then slowly release it all the way down. From here, you're going to interlace your fingers the non-dominant way behind you. Bend the knees. Knees will stay hips distance apart. Take the forehead down. As you inhale, peel just the fronts of the shoulders away from the mat. And then as you exhale, see if you can keep your thighs down, but lift your upper body, sending the fist back towards the heels. Maybe this is where you stay. Keep pressing the thighs down. Lengthen the lower back. If it feels good for you on your next exhale, without spreading the knees wide, you're going to see if you can float the thighs up, sending the soles of the feet towards the sky. So when we come to Danyarasana boat pose before, this is how high your boat pose actually is without compromising your shoulder joints or your lower back. This is what your body can support right now, however high you are which might not be as high as what your ego wants it to be, and that's fine. We've got two more breaths. Slowly release down. You're going to bring the right arm out to a cactus. Left hand plants by the shoulder. Press the floor away with the left hand and look over to the left. You should feel a nice big stretch in through the front of the right shoulder. And then we're going to switch this out. Left hand comes to a cactus. Press the floor away with the right arm. And then slowly come back to center. Tuck under the toes. Knees can be up or down. Take an inhale as you exhale. Plank pose. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, left elbow outside of right knee. Option to stay, option to come down into a little crouch. Plant the hands, side crow. Outside of right leg, we'll rest on the back of the left arm. If you wanted to take a funky crow from here, you could start to pivot your feet forward. So like as if you were trying to bring your knees to your nose, and then you're gonna drop that right forearm down to the floor as you go. Getting out of this is way harder than coming into it. So now you've got to take your feet away from you and see if you can lift that right elbow <laughs> off the floor, back into your side crow, and then come back. Everybody meets in chair pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. We'll go other side. I'll show you from this side. Inhale here. As you exhale, right elbow outside of left knee. From here, you're going to stay or you're going to crouch down. This time, the outside edge of the right, uh, sorry, the outside edge of the left foot will come to rest on the back of the right arm and you'll shift the weight into your side crow. Option to stay, otherwise bring those knees towards the nose as you start to drop the left elbow so you come onto the left forearm. And then you're gonna try and take it back. So you're gonna to start to bring the feet away from you. Oh, I can't do it on this side. See if you can peel that left elbow up. Come out of your twist. Everybody inhale, chair pose. Don't worry if that didn't happen. Exhale, forward fold. You can pause and try again. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, take it through a vinyasa. Option, I'm gonna give you a few more breaths here to play. If you wanted to play with an inversion, coming up into handstand or headstand or something or a crow pose. Versions are not really happening for me today. Just okay. Even though it's frustrating. I'm not gonna lie to you. When you can't nail it, it is frustrating. But you know what? That is why. If you're having more success than me, feel free to continue to keep playing. Otherwise, make your way to downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, open the hip, flip the dog. Option to stay in wild thing, option to keep traveling and make your way into wheel pose. So that right arm will swing all the way around and you land in your wheel. You came into wheel you're gonna to have to turn on that left wrist again bring yourself back out we're gonna keep traveling so you're gonna to have to do a few fancy hand works swing that right leg through wherever you are we're gonna meet in floating fall and triangle take an inhale send the hips towards the left heel exhale floating fall and triangle inhale three-legged dog exhale step through inhale press and lunge Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Option to stay here. Otherwise, we can add another arm balance here. So you're going to possibly set your left knee down to the floor. You're going to bring your hands to the floor. And just like we were in side crow, that right leg is on the back of the left hand, uh, sorry, the back of the left arm, except now our legs are split. You came into that arm balance gracefully or ungracefully, make your way back to an open arm twist. Inhale, the right arm comes up. Exhale, open crescent lunge. Inhale, reverse your twisted crescent. And then as you exhale, you're going to cartwheel flow through to your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, open the hip, flip the dog. Option to continue traveling here. Turn that right wrist in towards the middle of your mat so that you can pivot into your um, chakrasana wheel pose. You 
came into your wheel pose, you're going to pivot back out of it, swing yourself all the way through, floating full and triangle. On your next inhale, hips to heels, exhale, floating full and triangle. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, cross, right elbow, outside of left leg. Option to stay or once again, let me see if I can do it from this angle. You're gonna take those hands down, right, uh, left leg comes to the back of the right arm, leg split, press the floor away. Try not to face plant. I am not doing a good job of demoing these poses today. I hope you're just listening and not watching. If you came into your arm balance, everybody's gonna come into a twisted runner's lunge, left arm up, take an inhale, exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale to reverse, exhale, cartwheel flow through your vinyasa. From here, you're gonna drop the knees, walk yourself forward into a puppy pose. You have the option to stay here. Otherwise, we're coming back into pincher. Option to add scorpion if that is in your practice. So wherever you're going, you're gonna start in dolphin and then maybe you're coming up into pincher. Maybe you're continuing that all the way into dol um, oh my God, what's that other animal? <laughs> Too many animals in this sport into scorpion so if you're coming into scorpion keep pressing the floor away you're going to bend the knees yeet i'm not doing well today you're going to bend the knees think of the heels coming towards the glutes sending the sternum through the gateway of the arms i apologize i can't I just don't think i can demo it today but that happens and that's all right if you go there then you know what i'm talking about And I'm not going to edit this out because this is reality. Oh. When you're ready, you are slowly going to make your way into a child's pose. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Big open mouth exhale. Slowly from here, we're all going to make our way into a forearm plank. You're going to shift into a right-sided forearm plank. Yes, right side plank. Oh my God. Reach that left arm to the sky. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to thread that left hand all the way under. See if you can reach beyond your body behind you. Inhale, open it to the sky. Keep the hips steady. Exhale, thread the needle all the way underneath. Inhale, open it up. You've got three more here. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, come through center. Take it all the way to the other side. As you inhale, open the right arm to the sky. As you exhale, send it under. Inhale, open it up. You're going to take four more. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, forearm pat, plank. Lower the hips, inhale into your sphinx pose, exhale, lower all the way down. You can stick with any of the variations that we did before, otherwise done your asana. Remember, whatever height you've got before, you're not aiming to push much beyond that for your spine. Take an inhale, loose grip on the, loose grip on the ankles as you exhale, lift the thighs, lift the chest. Engage the glutes and the hamstrings. The kick is back towards the back of the room. 
Think of opening up your shoulders and not just dumping into your lower back here. One more inhale. Slowly release. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Take an inhale. As you exhale, plank pose. Send the hips all the way back. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist right. Inhale, chair. Exhale, open twist left. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Once again, I'm going to give you some time if you want to play. Maybe you're coming into handstand. Maybe you have a scorpion practice in your handstand. We're going to assume that that's not happening for me today. Oh, maybe it is. Feel free to continue playing, otherwise slowly make your way back for a vinyasa. One last time through, inhale, sweep that right leg up. Exhale, flip your dog, option to continue on all the way into your wheel. Just one breath here. And then you're going to reverse it, come all the way through, floating fall and triangle. Inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, floating fall and triangle. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, twisted crescent. Take an in, uh, sorry, with the bone. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, exhale, standing twisted crescent. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, cartwheel flow through. Thank God we're at the end of the class, otherwise I don't know how I'd be able to instruct you. You're going to sweep that left leg up. Exhale, open the hip. Flip the dog. Option to continue into your wheel. One breath. Reverse it, come all the way through, floating full and triangle. On your inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, floating full and triangle. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, right elbow outside of left knee. Take an inhale. Exhale. Right hand drops, left arm rises. Inhale. Exhale, twisted crescent. Inhale to reverse, exhale, cartwheel flow through. Step, walk or float to the top of your mat. Come down, Navasana, boat pose. You're going to bring your hands together, take an inhale here. As you exhale, try and keep your legs still, just tap. The fingers to the right side of the mat. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, tap the left side of the mat. Inhale, through center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Three more each side. Come through center. This time you're trying to keep the hands still. So take an inhale. As you exhale, you're just going to shift so that your left butt cheek raises and your knees face towards the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, shift the knees over to face the left. Right butt cheek will raise. Inhale through center. Four more to each side.
Inhale through center. Exhale, set the feet down. Make sure you've got enough room to lay down on your mat. And then when you're ready, slowly roll yourself all the way down. Give your knees a little bit of a squeeze in towards the chest. And then set the feet down, preparing for bridge pose. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to lift the hips up. Option to float those hands overhead. You can come into cactus arms. You could interlace underneath you. If you felt like you wanted to go to wheel pose again, you could certainly do that. I'm going to take a little march with my feet. You're welcome to join me. You're trying to keep your pelvis even as you send weight into one foot, float the other to tabletop, and then bring it down and switch it out. So you're trying not to change the distance between the front of your rib cage and your pelvis and the back of your pelvis in the ground. It's harder than it looks. One more each side. Take an inhale wherever you are. As you exhale, you're slowly going to lower down. Take the right ankle, cross it over the left knee. Take the arms out to capital T. And then you're just going to let both of your legs fall over towards the left. Ground down through that right shoulder. If this twist doesn't work for you, please take something that does. Come back through center. You're going to change it to the other side. We're going to come back through center. We're going to do one final little blast through the abs. Float the legs up into tabletop, lower back is in the floor. Hands behind the head, elbows wide, neck is relaxed, head is heavy. Take an inhale. As you exhale, slide the rib cage towards the pelvis as you peel the upper back up. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, left leg long, right rib cage, uh, right, oh my God, left rib cage towards right hip. Inhale through center. Exhale. Change the other direction. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Right, this is a very real yoga class. <laughs> if this is your first class with me, I swear I've normally got my shit a lot more together than I do today. We're going to take three more to each side. Come through center, take an inhale. You see, exhale, draw those knees in towards the chest. Grab around the outside edges of the feet, take a happy baby or any other pose that you feel like you need at this time. If you feel like you need forward folds or other hip openers, whatever you need, feel you, please feel free to take that. Take a nice deep inhale, draw the knees in towards the chest, curl yourself up into a tiny little ball. And then as you exhale, just let it all go. Big open mouth exhale. One more like that. Nice deep inhale. Big open mouth exhale. As always, please feel free to stay here for as long as what serves you. Thank you so much for practicing and having patience with me today. Today, as you go forward, may you have kindness and forgiveness in your thoughts. 
kindness in your words and peace in your heart. Namaste.